What is going on everybody? Welcome to GMTC. It's a new channel just about tech reviews, game reviews, box openings and everything like that. So the first video I'm ever going to do is on the Chromebook CB104 or the Chromebook 2. I've done this because I got this a couple of weeks ago ready for uni and I just think it's the perfect student laptop, um, especially on a budget as well. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. First of all with the design. Uh, it's a very, very shiny, plasticky looking cover because it mainly is plastic because it's quite a uh, cheap laptop but I still compare it to a lot like the uh, the MacBooks and the whole Apple range and stuff like that but yeah if we open it up you can see I think that keyboard it really really looks like the MacBook there and the screen is just lovely it's a nice size it's 13.3 inches there it's, it's just a lovely size and a lovely weight as well, which is 1.3 kilogra uh, kilograms, sorry, which is a lovely weight. It's like enough so you know it's there, but it's not holding you down as such, which is lovely. You slip in a bag. You won't, you won't have it holding you back like that so you get a bad back or anything on the way to lectures, on the way to school, on the train, whatever. A minor problem that I find with it, but this is like very minor and it's only because I'm a techie really is that you cannot lift the lid, it's not weighted enough so you can't lift it with one hand, only just see like it lifts up a bit like that, which, you know, it's a minor thing, but it's something, you know, I would look for in a laptop. But yeah, anyway, onto the tech specs. So this has got an Intel Celeron uh, 2.15 gigahertz, I think, and it goes up to 2.5 with burst. It's also got four gigs of RAM and a 16 gigabyte SSD, which is enough for small little bits of work, you know, like Word documents and stuff, or the Google Chrome uh, equivalent. It also comes with the 13 inch display, which is 1080p, the one I've got, which is like the full HD version. Um, just a lovely IPS display, you know, you can see everything very, very clearly. I will take you around the laptop and everything in a second. It also comes with Intel HD graphics, which doesn't matter because this is far, far from a uh, gaming laptop or anything close to it. It also comes with an SD card reader and it comes with, which is here, comes with one USB port here, the charge port which is here. And on this side you got a USB 3.0, a HDMI out and I think that's mini HDMI, I'm not too sure, and a 3.5 millimeter jack for your headphones. With the audio on the laptop is Skull Candy Zone, so it's got a little Skull candy thing, which you'll see when I go around the laptop and everything. And a ski uh, the speakers, to be honest, for a little laptop like this, even though they're not on the front, they're actually under the keyboard, are actually really, really good. Really loud, really crisp. But obviously, it's not on the level of like a, a separate speaker or something like that. But I was expecting a lot less, and it really blew me away. Literally, blew me away with this. So I'm very, very happy about that. So, like I said, it comes with. Uh, the Google Chrome OS, which is it's going to be different for everyone. It's not like the Mac OS. It's not like Windows OS. It's very very simple, used for internet use and bit of Word documents. But that's why it's the perfect student laptop because you just you do what you need to do for a low price. So I got this for around two hundred and twenty pounds at the time in the UK from John Lewis, I think it was. So if you're interested, I'll leave links down below to Amazon and all the shops and stuff like that for it. Uh, I'm sorry if you're abroad, I, I would try my best to go onto the American Amazon or find it in American shop or European shops and stuff like that. I will try my best. Um, but yeah, just a beautiful laptop. It also comes with a 0.9 megapixel camera, but I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna take you around the laptop now, starting off with the front here. So as you can see, it's a lovely display. It's a bit um, shiny, so it does reflect a lot. It's not too bad, it looks worse on the camera to be honest, but it's it's a very nice display, very, very clear and very crisp, Com even compared to my desktop monitor upstairs to be honest. I love the keyboard here, it's quite thin, it's got a bit of texture to the top of the keys, and they're very, very clicky, like to the touch. You can't really hear much click, but it's very nice and it's very good to use at night as well. As you can see here, in, under that key there, you've got the speaker with the Skull Candy logo there for it wants to focus. And at the top here, you've got the webcam. As you can see, I've got Spotify loaded, which isn't actually an app, but I'm going to go on to it a bit later. 
but just to show you a bit of the speakers and how they work. So yeah, they're very, very clear for the um, speak. You know, even under the keyboard. I mean, I'm very shocked. But yeah, a side view of the laptop there. As you can see, it's very, very, very thin. Very lovely. You've got the Chrome and Toshiba logos there. It's very clean back, I think. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Personally, I really like the design. I really like all the features and everything like that. And I'll just quickly show you if I can open this. Show you how quick it loads up a website. So let's just go to YouTube. The home of all great things. See how instant that was. And let's just just load this video here by Game Ranks there. Look how low that is. And it, you know, it works 1080p. It looks beautiful and everything like that. And it works like a dream. But yeah, I'm going to go back. To my face, sorry, I know it's scary. Just go back on there, uh, straight to go to the pros and cons and everything. So, for the pros and cons, for the pros, I've got the screen, it's absolutely fantastic, especially on the full HD version. I haven't actually seen the standard version, but on this particular model, absolutely amazing. The keyboard, I really like, lovely space keys with that bit of texture. The trackpad, I actually really, really like, especially without the clicky buttons. It took a bit to get used to at the first. It took me about an hour and I was up with it, you know, all the gestures and stuff that you can use, like four fingers up to change all the screens, go on like the task manager thingy if you like. Um, the speakers, I think are really good for a laptop this size and for this price as well. I mean, you heard them, they were quite clear. Just really good, especially that they're not even there. Um, I also got down the battery life, which I didn't actually mention at the start. It's about ten and a half hours, which is absolutely amazing. It is so good. Ten and a half hours will, you know, it's going to last you three or four days. I mean, if you're using it as a student laptop, I'm not heavy use, obviously. But it's and it takes like nothing to charge as well, so that's really good. Uh, the cons I've got is. I'm not a lover of the uh, OS, which kind of fits in the middle because I do like it, how simple it is and stuff. So you can give it to anyone and they can just go onto it and learn it like that, like I did. But it's missing a lot of things because it's Google. So it doesn't have Windows. It doesn't have Windows, of course it doesn't. It doesn't have Skype. It doesn't have Spotify. And it is based only off the internet. So... No matter what you want to do, it has to be based off the internet. So word processing, which can be used offline, but you still have to do it off Google on the internet and stuff like that. It's quite simple and quite basic. So like I said at the start, if you're looking for gaming or video editing or something like that, I would stay away from this one. But if you're a student just like me, 100% buy this straight away, go on, find it. That's the only ba uh, uh, bad thing as well as the webcam. But... That is a minor thing. I mean, if if you've got a phone, use that for Skype or whatever. That's what I do anyway. So when I go off to uni, I'm going to use Skype for my family, my friends, and everything like that. Uh, instead of the laptop, because you, ha you, you have to use Google Hangouts, and I'm not a lover. I would prefer to stick to Skype and everything like that. But overall, if I had to give this a rating out of 10, I would definitely give it a solid 8 out of 10. The OS and the webcam can be better. That's why I'm not giving it a 9 or a 10 just because it doesn't make it perfect or anything like that. But everything else about it is absolutely amazing. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. I hope you come back for more videos. If you did like this video, press the like button down there, I think it is. Yeah, down there. Hit the subscribe button down there as well. That there. And leave a comment as well. Just leave comments on what you want to see from my channel. Any questions you ask me, I'll do Q&As. Just everything about this channel, let's help it grow together. It's not just my channel, it's your guys' channel as well. But yeah, that's it for today. Peace!